are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. So, better, um, better driving today? No, um, no, uh, no pileups or anything? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I left a little bit later, so hopefully that makes a, a bit of a difference. Yeah. There was some guy going down my uh, street this morning. Like my street, it's, it's, uh, it's residential. There's lots of turns. There's not a lot of visibility. Right. So, you know, it's supposed to be 50 kilometers an hour in a residential. Right. But, you know, you, you kind of have to slow down more than that, especially when you can't see what's up ahead. Right. So I, no cars were coming. I pulled out. And, you know, I had to cross a, a break in the meridian, right? So I'm looking. There's nobody coming. I'm driving up towards the meridian. Nobody's coming. So then I pull into the immediate lane. Right. And all of a sudden, there's a guy on my ass. And he's <laughs> sitting on his horn. And I'm like, look, I shoulder checked three times right. to make sure nobody was coming. And I couldn't get up to full speed to get into the lane right away. Right. So you must have been going minimum 60 kilometers an hour around that corner, right. probably more. Right. Like, why wouldn't you drive a little bit safer, assuming that I'm an idiot and that some idiot's going to pull out? Because if you rear-end me, you're 100% at fault. Well, that's true. Which is what could have happened. Right. But anyway. Hmm. Friendly Manitoba. <laughs> yeah. So, a um, couple things, I guess we can chat about. I said, did you send, I think we need to do something a little bit different with our wonder list, because we've, we've talked about it a bunch of times. Right. It's our go-to, um, You, everyone probably thinks we're employed by the uh, the app maker wonder list. <laughs> um, and I could, you know, understand why people think that way. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, um the the uh the plot of thunder which I listen to uh actually at least daily right. sometimes a few episodes a day. Um they get this this little cool thing they do and I'm not trying to rip them off or anything, but it's a good idea. And it's similar to what we're doing, is that we're just pulling stuff off of our wonder list. Right. And talking about it. But we're at, you and I are actually picking what's on the wonder list. Like we're putting stuff on there. Right. But what we talk about is it, you know, well, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about that. Right. I think maybe we should be pulling it out of a hat, randomizing the list, and hitting on some topics on there. Definitely. You can do that, sure. That'd be kind of fun. Because one of the things that we used to do when we started out, when, when you were a regular part of the show, was you didn't know what the hell I was talking about. And it was kind of entertaining. Right. Well, that's, I mean, and uh, probably a lot of things on this list will be like that. <laughs> um, but uh, we, let's, so I, I thought maybe we could we could reserve the pulling out of the hat thing for um, when we do our uh, in-studio podcast. I thought that might be kind of fun. Okay. Now, because, you, you're not, because we have limited time when I'm driving... That might make it a bit more challenging, but when we have studio time, I think I think that might be more fun. Right. Okay. Well, I mean, I've I've got a I've got one right now that was fairly recent. Um, if you want to get into that. Sure. Okay. So what do you basic, got? Basically, uh, when we had the alert. Oh so yeah, the alert, that's right. There's been a lot of talk on on you know why and how and and people trying to opt out or or you know for whatever reasons um okay, well, wait, wait. let's let's provide a little back history for those that may not be in canada right or may not have you know have had this this happen to them so so what, explain what happened a couple of days ago well, and then we can kind of talk about it well what, or i guess a couple of days a week ago or whatever it was well what normally happens now if there's a was an amber amber alert or something like if there's a missing child or or, or if a natural disaster or you know whatever a tornado going through if if there's something very very important that's going to happen and they want to, to nail, you know get everybody uh, most everybody has a cell phone 
Uh, I mean, they do it on TV, but if you're not, you know, if you're somewhere else and you, and you have this this uh, this alert that shows up, so your phone just you know goes into spastic mode and starts you know sirens are blasting and and whatever thing that they have going um and now the thing is that's fine but now uh we've had one or two i don't know if this was the second one or the third one i think this was the second one and what happened was in the middle of the night this was about what two in the morning three i can't remember oh i don't i wasn't aware of that one um so oh you didn't get it well no no there's the one i got was the one that came at i don't know if it was like sometime after 10 then the second one came through at like 11 30 at night or something okay so here it was uh okay so the first one was at uh 10 36 p.m okay okay and, and then the second one oh no wait a minute sorry going down the wrong list yeah 10 36 p.m and then again at 11:21 p.m. Yeah. So yeah. So what it was was uh, okay. So there was a girl age 11 uh, who was missing. They gave the uh, vehicle plate number, last known location, uh, east eastbound 401. So this is where it gets kind of funny. This alert had nothing to do with Manitoba, which we live in, the province. Now, right. the one next door is Ontario, which is where this alert happened. There's been a lot of debate on the news after the fact that this happened, saying, why are we getting disturbed in the middle of the night, number one. Second of all, this alert had nothing to do with this province, uh, unless they were you know, jumping the border or whatnot. Um, and I guess, you know, the, there's a bunch of things that that they kind of got into. Um, so some people want to just opt out of it. It's like, you know what, I'm, I'm sleeping, it's the middle of the night, what the hell am I going to do? You, you're waking me out. People are on night shift, day shift, whatever shift. Uh, and this thing just blares and blares and blares, right? Yeah. So there's been a lot of uproar in, in, in that aspect. On the other side is like the more people that know the better, better chance you can apprehend. I mean, I I, just, I understand all that. That's fine. Um, so so I don't know what, what is your what is your take on that? Um, I think anything concerning kids for me, I uh, I'm a big wimp when it comes to anything involving kids or animals. So if something's happening with a kid or animal. Um, there's something I can do to help. Like I, to me, the warning came up. I'm like, what the hell is that? And I saw it. I'm like, oh my god. So then the whole rest of the night, I was concerned for this kid, and you know, I, I was following up on the story. I could not go to sleep. Right. So when the second alert came through, and they said, you know, it's been resolved. I'm like, oh great, they found the kid, and I didn't know what the story was. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. A, it was not a good. Um, it was not a good ending good at all. No, no it was a horrible ending. Right. And uh, so, from my perspective, so this, so this is my perspective. Take it as take it how you like it. But after I heard that, and you know, I was all I was all happy. I had a great sleep. You know, everything was good. And then the next day, someone said, "Did you?" You know, poor thing about the kid. And then I found out that, you know, the end result was the kid died. And my whole day was thrown off. I was very upset. I was very depressed. Very sad. And got angry. And, you know, just about the whole story. Right. Well, it puts you, it, it puts you into, it's not like you watch the news. Oh, you know, say this happened, you would have heard it on the news. of like, oh, yeah, shit, you know, it, you know it's a bad thing. But yeah. in this instance, they throw you into it like a family. So now, like a what? Sorry, like, like a what? Like you're you're part of the family. Oh, now. like your family? Yeah, yeah sure. They're, they're gathering. That's everybody. how I felt. That's like if someone, like if I texted you, said something happened, or you texted me, had something happened. It's it's the same idea. They've texted yeah. me saying, "Hey, you're someone who you're not related to. That you know, you're now you're part of this group is missing." 
um, you know, keep an eye out or whatnot. So now they've, they've made it personal. So now that, now that you've found out what happened, now you're going to take it in a different manner than if you would have just seen it on TV. Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you said, like it ruined your day. Like if you would have seen it on the news, on the 5 o'clock news, would it have ruined your day as much? Well, that's why I stopped watching the news. They personalize, to be honest. They personalize it by by sending you a, a specific notice personally to you. So, yeah, yeah so that, it, you know, it engages you. And I can understand that. Like if it was here in Winnipeg, yeah, you get the alert. But I mean, three, why? It always seems to happen in the middle of the night. Why? I don't know. But. You know, I don't think I've ever well, heard yet, which is, you know, or actually there may have been one, but I think that, that was when they were doing the testing to see yeah, how, that's people right, yeah. and how many people weren't. weren't. Uh, even this time, not everyone got it. Uh, yeah. Even with people, I'm telling you, I heard that, I heard that it was predominantly iPhones that didn't get it, which I thought was weird. Mm -hmm. Is the security too tight on an iPhone that the government can't send you an alert? Uh, I don't, well, I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of iPhones got it. Uh, yeah. But, I, I mean, people from the same network, whether it was MTS or Shaw or, you know, whoever uh, people were dealing with, I don't think it mattered because some people from that company got it and, you know, some people didn't. So it could be settings on a phone. It could be... You know, some of the providers probably maybe it, it didn't hit. Maybe it. Yeah, you know, maybe, maybe it was a provider thing. Yeah, they're part of that. Or, or yeah, you know, depending on the program too, and how how it relays this, and how it goes through all the different companies. I mean, there's there's obviously a, a weak link at some point, but at what yeah. part? I you know that's all up in here. That's when they'd have to actually so, do some testing. So I, so one of the things. So there's I, I'm hearing two points from here. So one is. Um, the message, well, really, at the end of the day, the message isn't going out properly. One is it's not, it's not centralizing where the, where, where the incidents occurring or, you know, who needs to be notified. Right. So it's, it's across, apparently it's across Canada and it's not, region specific or anything it's just it's a national security so everyone's getting it. that's the one the other thing is a it doesn't work in that some providers it's not going it's not getting pushed to everybody either so even though like one of the complaints that people had was why am i getting this like what you're saying is well i'm in manitoba you know i can't do anything like you know I, I, I disagree with the complaint that you're waking me up in the middle of the night. I, I, I disagree with that okay. because if it was my kid, I would want everyone to stop what they're doing to help me. Oh, for sure. Everybody. everybody right. So I, I agree with that. The regionality of how the messages aren't going out the right way because it's, there's a regionality part to it. Right. But now the problem, the problem that's broke is, they they haven't figured out how to regionalize it. Okay, then that means everyone should be getting this message, but everybody didn't. So that means the system's broke. Well, I think because I, th I think we're either they, we they, all should get it or it should be regionalized, and they haven't figured that out yet. Well, I think they did target us and Ontario because we're it might have been close to the border wherever this Highway 401 is or what it links to maybe. But, but there's a would, chance that you could have driven into our province. Yeah, but there was only two. As far as I know, there was only the two provinces that were affected. I don't think. Oh, okay. I okay, so then did, I don't think they got it in BC or or Alberta or. Oh, okay, you know, the so the regional thing actually worked in, in that regard. Yeah, but because not he could have went, he could have went east or west. Well, yeah. Or he could have gone into the U.S. and then what happens there? Did did Michigan? You know, were they part of that? And they should have been, actually. If the guy's going to flee... Well, see, that would have to be... Because now you're dealing with... See, the CRTC is what regulates Canada, but we don't regulate the U.S. And but they have their own... They have their own... Like, it's not called an Amber Alert thing, but they have their own oh, I'm sure thing they, because yeah. there was something in the news recently about their own one that they have. So I'm wondering, are they synchronized? <laughs> 
or if there's some sort of, you know, right. handshake agreement on, okay, well, we'll, you know, we'll push it to you guys as well. And then you guys can send it out or right. I don't know, but I, I don't mind. Look, I'd rather be, I have kids. So I get up sometimes two or three times a night. I'd rather be taken out of it. If there's anything, if there's any sort of information I can provide to help, I would rather know about it than not have received the message at all. Right. So for me, the biggest failure is not everybody got this message in the region that was hit, that should have been hit. Right. And if that's the case and it's the provider that's failing, right. I think the provider should be fine. Well, I mean, this, this, this isn't sanctioned. This is <laughs> this for, you know, I, I don't think it's a, a law uh, that they did this. I think it was just as a service. Oh. But I mean, like in, um, in terms of if there's a tornado coming or a flood coming and right. you did not receive a message. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, if, if this was the, that, the United that involves, States. That, that involves everyone. Yes, get a hold of everyone because it affects yeah, yeah. everyone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But if he didn't get it right. because the provider is – didn't hook it. I, I think a national security system should be forced on like remember in the old days when we were kids and we had three channels and there was a weather warning and it'd pop up on the screen. Yep. I mean that's all we had back then. But they would do that on there or it'd be on the radio. I mean those are the two methods of communication back then. Yeah, same with now, but now we have the extra thing with the cell with the cell phones. The cell phone's more effective because not everybody watches the news anymore and nobody watches local stations or, you know, anything like that. So, right. I mean, yes, everyone pretty much has a cell phone. So, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm all for it. Right. Uh, my, my biggest gripe is it didn't go out to enough people. Oh. That's my biggest gripe. Okay. I know you're, what side are you or are you siding on? I'm... I'm I'm kind of siding on the the side of common sense, uh, in a in a way. Uh, first off, I mean, if your phone goes off, and you know, it's like, oh, uh, if you're driving around and you see, okay, first off, you get the most hefty fine, demerits, and such, if you're either to even look at your oh. phone, let alone grab your phone to find out anything that's going on. Uh, second thing would be, if you're not out, that means you're home. If you're home, you're not going to be looking out your window, seeing if there's a car going by with, you know, somebody missing. If you want to do the alert, fine, do the alert. You don't have to have this sirens and alarms going off, like there's no tomorrow. Just have it like a regular one. Have a, a specific sound sure it doesn't have to be this shrieking thing you know it's not like as soon as they get it they're going to run outside and see it's going to be a long usually it'd be a long-term thing if someone's missing okay fine if you get it if you get it in a minute if you take a look at your phone in 10 minutes i don't think it's going to make a whole lot of difference but mostly it's scaring the shit out of you when this thing goes off <laughs> not forget if someone ever takes a heart attack you know when this thing goes off because then, then it'll become, you know, it will definitely be on the news. And people have been, you know, had heart attacks for things that are less startling. So, they're, 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 <laughs> well, it is very loud and there's no volume control. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's the part I don't like. I do like the part that it, you're informing everyone. Yes. You're, you're informing everyone so that, you know, it's, it's, it's like a shotgun effect. Like you're liable to hit something eventually. Like someone, might yeah. See something or or whatnot. Yeah. Well, and hey, like to, for you know, for all intents and purposes, this was successful in that. I think I, I don't know. I I don't quote me on this, but I think they found the guy within ten minutes. Okay. Now, did they say yeah, how and, they found but, the person? Did they find the person from someone who got the alert, or did they find yeah. someone because? Of uh, no, from the alert. That's mm -hmm. that. It was the alert that let them find this person. One hundred percent. Right. Now, so, GPS. so if one if one person out of whatever twenty thousand or whatever a million people, and one person was the one that was able to find this guy, right. 
that's a success because that's what they're looking for. Like you said, the scatter shot or shotgun. Let's see who we can, you know, hopefully somebody's seen something. Right. And that's exactly what happened. Like, oh, yeah, no, of course, no, I did see this vehicle. And they reported it immediately. Right. I think it was within 10 minutes. Right. They this a car was uh, uh, police was dispatched and they found the guy. Now it was too late. And this was in Ontario. Yeah, like now had the Amber Alert gone out earlier, like I I know they vet the Amber Alert before it's sent out. It's not willy nilly sent out. Yeah, but was, but they vet it. But how long did they spend vetting it? Well, where did they find her? They found her at home. Did they not at his house? No, no. Well, that was they found. There. Where did no? They, they found he was living somewhere, and it wasn't. I don't know if it wasn't totally registered, but they found him his car somewhere. It was not at home. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, um, and then they were able to track him back. But they found. I think they found the daughter at home at his the place he was staying at, which I don't even know if he was legally staying. At. Okay. It was one of or something ones. along. I, I, now I could be totally getting this totally wrong, and I apologize. And I'm, you know, I'm not trying to offend anybody listening, but I do know that it was as a direct result of the Amber Alert they found him, and it allowed them to find the guy, the asshole, yeah. right away. And I, I heard it was like within like ten minutes, hmm. so they were able to react. Oh. So this is after the first Amber Alert went out, and then it was like whatever an hour later that they let everybody know it was resolved. Right. Which is good. The second Amber Alert is important too because if you know this person, or you know this person's vehicle, or you've seen them, and you really want to help, you might actually be going out to try to find this guy. You're like, oh my God, no, I saw this vehicle. It was at the mall. You get in your car, you go to the mall, maybe he's still there, you know, like whatever. You may, and if you're still looking, you know, six hours later or two hours later, whatever it is, at least they're letting you know, you know, call it off. Right. You, you got him. But in the meantime, they sent two Amber Alerts before they sent the third one saying that she was found. So you got one at 10 something, you got one at 11 something. How many of these alerts are you going to get in the middle of the night or are you going to get any sleep at all? So there was three. I only got two. See, I only got two. Well, I, be- I believe there was two alerts and then the one that said uh, that they had found her, actually. Oh, so I, I, didn't, I, didn't get, I didn't get all three, so then it, it didn't. I'm just trying to, February, it, it, it was actually on, uh, on uh, Valentine's. Yeah, so I got... The first emergency alert, uh, Peel Regional Police activated the Amber Alert, and then uh, then there was a second one. Well, the first one doesn't say what time. Uh, second one was at 10:36, and then the uh, yeah, I got the 10:36 one. No, oh, so I didn't get the first one at all. No. Well, that's weird. Hmm. But with uh, but with some people not getting it, maybe they wanted to send out twice just to make sure that maybe you know who knows. Well, maybe that's why then. Maybe there's a because you're sending it out to everyone all at the same time. All you need to do is overload the network, and you know you never know what happens at that point. That's a good point. Yeah, it's like when you drive your you're trying to play a video game at high resolution, and your computer just can't keep up. It's either gonna yeah. crash or something's gonna <laughs> happen. So. I mean, you put enough strain on electronics or, you know, any type of thing like that, you know, something may happen. So, Well, I'm at, I'm at home. I'm at home. I'm, I'm going to get my, my, my two senses. <laughs> okay. I, I think, I think the system is not perfect. And I don't think there's a, there's a, a good way they could have tested the system, taken all the bugs out and make it as efficient and as, as effective as possible. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, it worked in that, it led directly to them nabbing this guy. That's true. <clears throat> Is it annoying? Yeah, it got my attention. If I just get a vibration or something like that, I wouldn't have done anything. Because my phone vibrates all the time. I get messages all the time. Right. 
the way our phones work, unfortunately, the way phones are set up, you get a notification for everything. You can turn all your notifications off and just the nature of cell phones and the nature of advertising and all this sort of thing is some of these settings turn back on and I keep getting notified on uh, Candy Crush and I don't really play that much. Have you sent me a life yet? No, <laughs> kidding. <laughs> well, I keep getting notifications on and like I don't even play that much and I turn the settings off. Right. So the only way to stop the settings is to uninstall, but your phone doesn't allow you to uninstall everything. So I think they have, so they've had to step up the game on how annoying the, the freaking beep is right. because you get so many other notifications in your phone that are annoying as hell. Right. And there's so many different sounds for your notifications. If they just send a nice little beep, 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 you might go, Oh, is that Facebook or is that Instagram or is that Twitter or is that messenger or is that candy crush? And if you're questioning, if it's annoying, you're like, holy crap, what the hell is that? And you pick up your phone to see what it is. Yeah, Yeah. so I mean, it made it forced me to look at my phone. If it, if it had made any other noise, I would have said, well, it's a notification of something I don't care. Right. And I would have gotten to it later. Now, if I was the person in Ontario yeah. and that had happened, I'm like, oh, another freaking notification from some other app that I turned off, it's back on. I would have just ignored it and checked it later. Right. The only ones I ever check for are the is I have one sound for text message. Right. That's the only one I ever check for. Everything else I don't give a shit. So if it was another message or another sound, then I wouldn't have done I would have done nothing. True. True. So I mean, it's gotta grab your attention. Yeah. But then there's the onus on the person too. Hey, if you don't want to be disturbed, as long as it works. If you put the do not disturb from certain time to certain time, you won't get notified or you won't get any dings or anything so to interrupt your yeah. sleep. Now, whether it works with that, I don't know. Because if you're doing it on purpose because you want to go to sleep and, you know, you're not going to be anywhere to see anybody to see anything regardless. So if, if that option works on your phone, then the onus is on the person. Who has the phone. So you're saying you should have the option to be able to turn it off completely? Uh there may be that option already and if you wanted to do that then and if it works then yeah then there's your answer if you don't want to be disturbed after you go to bed because you're in bed you know yeah then fine you put the do not disturb until your alarm goes off in the morning and you know you're not getting dings because i mean i get you know people get email dings and you get you know yeah some some, some idiot that's up at God, whatever time and decides, you know, to send the, uh, you know, I'm, I'm drunk. I'm here, uh, going down and party <laughs> type of thing. And it's not even for you. <laughs> and ding- No, no. And it is for you and digging in the middle of the okay. night and you don't want that. You, you know, I don't want to, yeah, I just want to go to sleep, turn the, the notifications off and then you should be good as gold. I'm assuming that would work. And if it does, then the onus would be on the person to do that themselves. And then you can stop complaining and then just turn it off. <laughs> but otherwise, I know they say, well I, well, I know some people say, well, I need to leave my phone on for an emergency. What if somebody calls my mother is sick or my, you know, my brother's in the hospital or whatever. And can, I keep my phone on for that. So you can make exceptions. I think, I think if someone wants to call you, it'll come through. Like you, I think you have some check marks or something. You can, yeah. Yeah. But it's like, I, I'm waiting for a real emergency. Well, this is a real emergency. It is a real emergency. Well, it is, yes. I mean, you know, like if you're a kid, you, you have a 21-year-old or an 18-year-old, they're going to the bar, and, you know, you keep your phone by your bed and you keep it turned on in case they call. Right. And then you're like, well, that's a real emergency. Well, it's actually less of an emergency unless your child was abducted at the bar and the emergency alerts going out to notify everyone so they can find your daughter or son or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, you, you can't, you can't say it's for emergencies and not want to hear a national emergency like that or a regional emergency. You, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Right. Which is a, yeah. But I mean, we never had this technology before. This is, <coughs> this is something that was, pardon the expression, forced upon everyone. I mean, yep. not that it's a bad thing, but it was typically forced on everyone, whether you liked yep. it or not. 
So I mean that 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 in itself is 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 violate. Well, there's a very fine line when it comes to you know your privacy. Yeah, I guess when it comes to stuff like that. Yeah. So you're home. I'm home. home. <laughs> Right then. Um, I will send you some pictures of the studio. Um, oh yeah. I've got some uh, some panels up. Uh, I just got some more stuff to stick into the walls. So I will be adding to it, and then I'll send you some updated pictures. I'll uh, I'll post those on Instagram too. Oh, okay. Yeah, let people know what you're working on. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Awesome. We'll talk to you later. Okay. Talk to you. Right. Bye bye. Okay. See ya.